Live from the edge of Austin, where Andrew D&D Dice Clay announces a bear market for banging chocolate, it's going to be a great night. Now, find your family, find your guns, because here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Yo. We're making Twitch history, first time ever. No one's ever been on this website before. We're, Goddamn we're right. pioneering it. You brought it, right? I brought it. I knew you would. I, I'm bringing it every day. I, I've got I've got the merchandise, if you know what I'm talking about. Sure. Uh, it's uh, distributed. It's around here. It's liquid, you one might say. Liquid. Yeah, but you brought. I mean, you brought the hard stuff, right? Fentanyl. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, that's right. Well, yeah. uh, that's the, what the, I do. Uh, the, this is my new, my new bit. <laughs> I traffic fentanyl. Uh, we're making. Hi, twi- it is Justin, the fentanyl trafficker, young. And we're making. Hey, <laughs> just a classic character of his era. <laughs> oh, there's addiction throughout the world, but what are this guy's wacky antics? I thought. Oops. I was- I thought I, I was... left my fentanyl <laughs> here. Yeah. I traffic in leaded paint. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, how much leaded paint do you want? <laughs> Together, we'll ruin all of Michigan. <laughs> uh, 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 hey, how are you, Justin? <laughs> hey, man, that was a joke. I don't really traffic fentanyl. Yeah, uh, that was not a joke. Probably if be you lu- want leaded paint, <laughs> it would probably be more lucrative. Me. Call one eight hundred leaded. It would probably be more lucrative than the career I'm in. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> but I don't. I don't. I don't have the balls. It's not even real fentanyl. Mm-mm. No, it's traffic fake. in phony nil. <laughs> phoning all. Yeah, Fo- phoning in. Phoning it. Phoning it. Owner. Right, <laughs> what's our first topic? Our first topic is unboxing. Oh damn. Boxing we talked it. about this. Boxing it. We talked about this. Uh I got beef. I got beef with uh whatever I thought you were gonna say because literally for your birthday last week, Annalisa got you a bunch of beef jerky. That's true. So you do have literal beef. Mm-hmm. Okay, sorry. I got beefs. You have multiple beefs. Yeah. Are you beefing up? Uh, one of them, one of my beefs is with, uh, I believe, the M&M Mars Company. Okay. A.K.A. Uh, uh, slave Trafficking Wonka. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> slave Trafficking Wonka. I mean, unless there's one that doesn't traffic in Wonka slaves, in which case I have no beef with them. Wait, the Oompa Loompas? Yeah. That's <clears throat> that's actually more fucked up than just calling them Oompa Loompas, in my opinion. <laughs> calling First them Wonka slaves? That's like when they when they that's like when they when, 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 when they went when they went from calling N word Jim in uh, 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 in Huck Finn slave Jim like that was fucked I up. I started off with lead paint. You went to fentanyl, <laughs> and then historically problematic names from famous. No, novels. this is when they changed it. <laughs> okay, to slave Jim. <laughs> He wasn't a slave. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Or, or not anymore. He was. He was. I don't know. It's been a while since I read the book. <laughs> I'm gonna put I just it, remember. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm Should gonna, I reset? It's called. Let's boxing reset. It. Let's <laughs> reset. All right. Here we go. I reset. Just uh, uh, Hey, everybody. I like brushing my teeth twice a day with leaded, leaded paint. <laughs> <laughs> now we're back. Uh, okay. Good. We're all clear. Right, all right. All right. Yeah. Uh, who do you think should be able to say the N word though? Like, oh. I'm just kidding. I'll reset again. 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 Hold on. Uh, no, actually, I, this is good. No, really? You want that? Come you on. Want I got no. This no. one you want? No, 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 no. no you're at the stage is yours. <laughs> uh, Justin. Yeah. We've talked a bit about my opinion of Skittles. Indeed. Uh, what is my opinion of Skittles? You don't <laughs> like them. <laughs> Anymore. Anymore. Because, because the they... lime ones. What? Or the lime ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, go on. You don't like the lime ones? Uh, or you really like the lime ones? Well, I mean, last time I There's checked. There's a controversial opinion about the green <laughs> Skittle. That's right. Yes. 
Is that also the sexy one? <laughs> yes, yeah. Does that yeah. make it you horny? Me, yes. Or does it sterilize you? <laughs> <laughs> Watch the pre-show. Uh, 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 so summarizing, um, uh, uh, I mentioned on pretty much every appearance I've ever done on the internet how much I'm angry at Skittles for betraying me and the whole industry because green means lime. It does not mean... The devil's oh, fruit. Yeah. Were you about to say green apple and then realized green is in the word? <laughs> no. I was going to say sour apple. Okay. Sour apple. Whatever. Because they make a green apple. They do, uh, yeah, sour what is that? Hat. A granny, a granny Smith. Is that the is that the sour apple? Okay. Look, you don't need to be ageist as well. Are you going to throw that on the fire? Being ageist? Yeah. Toward grandmas? Yeah. Sour ass grandma. <laughs> All right. Look, here's the important thing. <laughs> Name Smith. <laughs> Probably white. <laughs> Picture Johnny Appleseed in your mind. Yeah, exactly. Well, we're all racist. Nice. Uh, Derek K sent to me. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Damn, lime only Skittles. Yeah, lime only. So no sour apple. Only lime. To be totally honest, if you gave me a lime and a apple Skittle, I don't know if I would be able to tell them. Motherfucker, yeah, you're, you're going to high road me on this shit. No, I, I, I don't taste flavors. I believe it. <laughs> I don't taste the rainbow. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just how I was raised. I was raised in a very cosmopolitan area. I, mean, I don't taste the rainbow. They're all 180 calories. They're all equally amazing to me. All right, well then you could have these fucking shitty ass sour skittles. Oh shit! I'm gonna. Oh wait, have... here, hold on. No, can you? Can we taste test? No. I mean, if no. I have to taste that. No, 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 oh, no. Just you, with you. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here we yeah, go. Just here go, we go ahead. Okay. Go ahead and give me one of each. All right. Justin has turned his back sure. and his. Uh, do I need to make sure they're the right color? I, I know. I'm, I'm not gonna look. Okay. All right. Yeah. Here's here's one. Okay. Wait, it's a bag of all. All I'm and then he has another one of colors are all apple. Sour, yeah. uh, and and uh, uh, these are all lime. Okay, so I'm gonna, eat, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna eat this one. Wait, okay, or should I not? Well, I just realized I gave you a clue by the fact that I said these are all sour. Hold well, on, I, but I have no idea which one. Me. I have no idea which one would bag you're holding up. Oh, got it. Okay, okay got it. All right, go. For all right, here we go. Right. Here's the first one. Okay. <laughs> that one definitely has a coating of sour around it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm not going mean, to judge you much. Go ahead. <laughs> it's very right. citrus. This one does not have a sour <laughs> coating on it. <laughs> oh, my God. It is true. He does. He, 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 he is truly equalist in, in, in his regard of Skittles. No, you want to know what? I can definitely taste the difference. Like the lime is definitely a distinct and different flavor. Would than you say apple. it's a superior flavor? Just do me a favor. Look right at that camera. Which one? Uh, Am I here? All of them. I'm here. All of them. Yeah, and nice. raise your right hand. Uh, uh, I, <laughs> Justin Robert Young. Oh, let me get a copy of the internet for you to swear on. <laughs> Think lime skittles <laughs> are very delicious. <laughs> Equal. Oh, you're I <laughs> <laughs> Please don't spit on our rug. Yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy my lime white claw <laughs> as we move forward. Uh, well, now I just have eight skittles in my hand. I'm gonna slowly eat. This <laughs> is right. terrible for an audio podcast. Right, uh -huh. what's our next topic? A clip from the past. Means all his skills. <laughs> oh, I forgot that I just gave you a topic and you said you were no, fine. All skills. Look, hey guys, what's Sir, we have a professional show. All right, no more food. No more food. On no more food. Oh, 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 it says champion mukbang over here. Hey, not during the show. show. Wait, let me go get my salad. I hey, Mister, go get your salad, bro. Yeah, I'm <laughs> everyone's eating. <laughs> Everybody, I'm gonna eat a scorpion and then judge the lime bro. That was like four years ago. That That's was so right, long man. ago. People don't forget. Never forget. <laughs> I'm gonna mock you with my lime flavored hat over here. Yeah. Fuck you, lime shirt. 
What an upset that you did remember something from four years ago. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, Where are my guns? <laughs> all right. So, uh, and as we'll play out during the game tonight, uh, my mom apparently has kept a lot of shit that I saved at her house. A lot now of baggage. I'm a homeowner, literal baggage. Uh, <laughs> now I'm a homeowner, so she's just slowly sending me a lot of shit that I had stored at her house that I forget why I saved all this shit and, and what it is. But apparently at some point back in 2005, I saw a cover when I was living in New York of the New York post. And I was like, this is so fucking weird. I need to save it because at some point I may need it. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, tonight is that night. Yes. So uh, uh, we are having a, uh, uh, consider this our, our treasured unboxing episode. <laughs> this is our antiques road show. Uh, um, uh, hello, sir. I understand you have something that uh, you're trying to evaluate the value of. Yes, this is the late city final of the Friday, May 20th, 2005 edition of the New York Post. Okay, now, as you know, we make huge payouts here on the show. Yes, <laughs> for only the cover uh, of well, the New York Post. If it's interesting enough. Now, on the cover, I can clearly see that it says 25 cents. That will be our opening offer. Sure. It can either go up or down from here. Sell me works. on why you should get any money. Just going to show the cover here. It is a full oh. page picture of Saddam Hussein <laughs> wearing only tidy whitey underwears. Again, uh, uh, this is the front cover, full page of the New York Post, and it just says, The Butcher of Sagdad, <laughs> because he has saggy ass tidy whiteys exclusive inside Saddam's prison cell. This was an actual cover of the New York Post. Uh, Justin, I don't know if you're prepared for this. I hope you don't faint easily. We are ready to give you our highest award ever. Seven lines. <laughs> oh, <laughs> more Skittles. More Skittles. No more food on Siri. <laughs> Mr. Special Governor, thanks great. to Bryce Governor. Castillo for suggesting that we always have food on set. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How fucked up is this, though? <laughs> I would who, be puts, who puts a dude in his fucking underwear? <laughs> like, I mean, like, get it. Um, also, he just lost a war. <laughs> yeah, it has been hiding in. <laughs> Motherfucker lost a war. Like, like if you think that your year could get shittier than losing a war and then getting found in a in a spider hole, are are, are, are you positioning him as a sympathetic character in this narrative? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, mean, like, I, all right, look. That, that motherfucker never tasted he got, sour he got apple. Hung. He got hung to death. <laughs> all right, all right. He got hung to death. I mean, like. <laughs> I'm sorry, is that the punchline? <laughs> Ladies, he got hung oh, to death. God. Yeah. I mean, before, I'll tell you what, based on the bulge here, I think he was hung before he. <laughs> right. I did see a Peacemaker. Uh, Speaking of, did he also have WMDs? <laughs> I mean, I mean, if you look at what you, you, you look at them like, guns, so you fucking you look at what John Cena's packing. He does, yeah, you know, yeah. Not trying to find your guns. No, exactly. there's definitely like seven full minutes. I watch with Josie as John Cena jacked to the fucking nines, sings into a, a vibrator. Yeah, uh, uh, with his hog, pretty with much his, like this with his hog swinging all around. Yeah, yeah, that'll get the attention of Hans Blix. <laughs> It's a little joke for everybody paying attention to CNN in 2002. <laughs> is that is that Blinks? Is that Blinks the cat? Are we talking about Blinks the cat? Ask your parents, kids. I'm just here eating lime skittles on air. <laughs> Bryce, what's our next story? Next time, at Fight Club goes globally. Now, okay, uh, I have no idea what this is about, but I do know that Fight Club has been a very important movie to me in that it came out at around the time that I quit my day job and I left the office to go do Fight Club every night. And now I've literally, you know... A metaphorical Fight Club. Uh, a, a metaphorical, like, yeah. like this used to be the Paper Street House and now we have Fight Club every yeah. Tuesday night and yeah. all of that stuff. Uh, so, 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 so whatever the Fight Club news is, mm. it better not be that Fight Club got canceled. Okay, um, it's, it's not. Um, <laughs> Renewed well, that, for another that, season. That's certainly not defensive. <laughs> um, what is what is the line for pre-defensive? <laughs> is there a long German word for being pre-defensive? <laughs> uh, 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 Der Fight Clubben. 
<laughs> uh, white clubber yeah. bitch titsman. Der, der, uh, 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 uh So this was reported by the uh, author of the book. Oh, Palinuk. Got it. Yeah. I see. Hans Blix and Palinuk. Meatloaf's right. pants fall down in the middle of the movie. Have you ever seen that? Yeah. It's pretty great. Uh, so he, he fell down and died <laughs> last week. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Yeah. R.I.P. to Meatloaf. Like, fucking. I got what? Some... R.I.P. to Milo. I'll, I'll, I'll get I'll get the leaded. You looked at Justin like he was you were mad at him for you saying meatloaf. <laughs> 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 anyway, Fight Club. So uh, yeah. I guess Fight Club uh, has been uh, playing in China, and um, how did that get through? Uh, because they changed the ending. <laughs> really? What? And so instead, what is the what's the iconic ending shot of Fight Spoiler Club? Spoiler alert uh, for yes. Fight Club, but at the end of the movie, they blow up the six buildings of all of the major credit card corporations. Mm -hmm. It's literally uh, 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 what Mr. Robot was ripping exactly. off. Exactly. Yeah. And then in the after credit sequence, Howard the they, Duck they comes they out show a dick. and he says. <laughs> Hey, what's up? And then it says, it's, Fight Club will, will be returned. Will return. <laughs> <laughs> that, so, no, yeah, that doesn't happen. It just, yeah, they put so, 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 What yeah. would the Fight Club of Earth look like? <laughs> All right, Fight Club 1 is Fight Club, yeah. where you realize that it's the same person. Spoiler alert. <laughs> and, <laughs> and so then we just keep going. It's like Ozark, where, like, the only solution they have to anything is, well, why don't we just buy the blank and, like, you know, now they eventually, they're, like, they're they, literally buying the federal by, government in the by, final. By, by like uh, the thirteenth movie, it's Succession, and they're all and like, "You might know that everybody is the same person. Right. Everybody is everybody else. That's that's what happens." Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, well, instead of that happening in <laughs> uh, in China, um, this has been appended to the ending in lieu of that explosion scene. Uh, quote. Through the clue provided by Tyler, the police rapidly figured out the whole plan and arrested all criminals, successfully preventing the bomb from exploding. After the trial, Tyler was sent to a lunatic asylum receiving psychological treatment. He was discharged from the hospital in 2012. End of film. Wait, I wonder where they... <laughs> That's, you realize how close die? this is to, by the way, Poochie died on the way to his home planet? <laughs> Wait, yeah, like literally it is that, and they do that all the time in China, apparently. <laughs> so wait a minute. I wonder where they cut the movie. Yeah. Like the, 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 um, do they cut it at the point that he shoots himself? I think I think he probably it's probably that moment where he says, You met me at a very strange time. Do 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 so, oh, yeah, so, cuts yeah. to Poochie died on the way to his home planet. So do the Pixies still get royalties when they play it over that uh, uh, tapped on? Yeah. And how much of that money do they spend on lime flavored skin? <laughs> <laughs> do we do we know when it uh, cuts out? Uh, not ex. You're not telling me there's not a but bootleg a of the China version of this movie? Well, because they have the bootleg of the real one. Yeah. Um, so so that's they, uh, that, us, that that would mm. be funny if literally. So the last line is still the last line. It's still Ed Norton to Helena Bottom Carter. You met me at a really weird time in my life. Right. And then uh, they fade to black. And then they fade. It's because like. That's a quick fade, though, because, yeah. like, the, the, the explosions start happening, like, a split second after I, I he would says like, that I line. would like to believe he says, you met me at a very weird time, and his head does that that VHS head bob between frames yeah. <laughs> as it freezes, <laughs> and then just cuts to black. Uh, you met me at a real weird time in my life. Hopefully, dear leader re reconciles <laughs> the loose provinces of Hong Kong and Taiwan. <laughs> Where is Hong Kong? Per, per Vice News, the explosion scene has been removed. Yeah. So this is in lieu of that scene. Yeah. Um, but yeah, apparently this happens a lot in uh, in Chinese films where they the endings get <laughs> yeah, so get retconned. Things yeah. that are cool. Yeah. Underground boxing clubs. Yeah. Uh, multiple personalities. Punching Jared Leto. Yep. Uh, 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 mm -hmm. all, all, learning how to make bombs. Yep. Almost having them go off. Having sex with Helena Bottom Carter. Right. The Dust Brothers. <laughs> the Dust Brothers. <laughs> that shit slaps no matter uh, the David language. David Fincher. Yep. And the penguin that was inexplicably in the trailer. Slide. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, yeah. That, human, that, human that was his dream soap. animal. Don't forget yeah. human fat soap. Yeah. Oh, human. Yeah. Human Making soap, soap out of humans. Meatloaf. 
Are these Brad just Pitt kissing things your hand from yep. the movie that you remember? Yeah, we're just, now we're just naming, we're just seeing who can remember the movie the most. <laughs> well, I wonder who's going to win that one. <laughs> he says as he cuts to Brian, Bryce, what's our next topic? Our next topic. Brian's new nightmare. <laughs> nightmare is the opposite of Sunday. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nightmare is the opposite of Sun Horse. <laughs> Justin, uh, I believe Someday. we know each other well enough that if I ask you what my recurring nightmare is, you may know. And if uh, not, you, yeah, no, I I can take a guess. Wait, 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 wait. What 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 do you think it is? I I I think there is a production related, a show related thing that you are like about to go live, but you cannot find the things that you need to find. Uh, uh, they either you didn't pack them, or they're not in the right place, or it's not the right stuff. Almost exactly yeah. correct. It, it was always some kind of live performance on stage yeah. uh, for an audience that that I needed to impress, and there's always something not in the right place, right? And then eventually the audience gets bored and leaves. I have not had. So the that dreams nightmare. go on that long. Oh yeah. Oh no no no. I mean normally that's, that's... normally all my anxiety dreams I never get to the point where I actually fail. Oh, I, I'm, I got I'm, it. I'm 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 just that's... at the point where I'm panicking about. I, failing. I just keep on trying, right? And, gotcha. and 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 it's only after everyone leaves that uh, then it becomes an argument about whether or not I'll get paid. <laughs> and <laughs> wow, you have very realistic dreams. <laughs> yes. Uh, so it's been it's been a hot minute since I've had one of these nightmares. Likely likely because I I. Don't tour like yeah. I used to, right? <clears throat> Guess what happened last night? I had a nightmare. Yes. Guess okay. how it went. Uh, you were very sexily <laughs> <laughs> And you minced into the kitchen. And you said, I'm going to make a pie. And then you looked for all the ingredients and you had... And you didn't find them, and so you're like, ooh, I got to go get my ingredients. And so you <laughs> minced on over to the car, and you drove to the HEB, and everybody was friendly. And you were like, <laughs> hey, can I get some pie ingredients? And they said, pie aisles to your right, Buster. And you said, thank you. And you tipped your hat. You were wearing a fedora. You got your pie ingredients and you checked out and you used Apple Pay and then you got into your car and the car didn't start. But then it did and you got and you got back home and you made a pie and you ate it and you went to sleep. How close? <laughs> Was he, was he close at all? Part of me wants to just say fuck you and say that's exactly the dream and just end the sentence. No, but uh, no, Justin. No. It was the same nightmare that I've not had for a very long time because I'm not touring. Gotcha. However, uh, something's different, uh, uh, which is in real life, uh, there, there was an offer for a college gig, and uh, I suggested, well, what if I, I, I brought along... Uh, a, a comedy partner yes. and we did magic but we also did comedy uh, we don't know if it's going to happen or not but apparently so this is a real thing by the way yeah there's a real possibility that that we're going to do a college yeah, show that we're going to do a college show right uh, uh yeah, because after all now we've done a magic convention and we've done a whole bunch of dragon cons and all that yeah. stuff it's not the weirdest thing in the world we're very excited fingers crossed all that stuff yeah however it was enough to trigger that nightmare thing only it was way more awkward because uh, I was there <laughs> because you were there <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and it didn't go well. And I didn't yeah. know instead of arguing about whether or not I'd get paid, it was about how I talked to you about how poorly the what, show was. Went. I was, was I the reason why it sucked? Uh, you know, details are a bit hazy. <laughs> <laughs> So it was awkward because I suck shit. I, I mean, who's to say? I'm no judge of quality. Did we both bomb or did only I bomb? Uh, we definitely, as a group, were not bomb. perceived as good. Gotcha. But it was me who <laughs> fucking was the reason I, I, why. Uh, uh, okay. You're getting embarrassed like this, this really point, happened. <laughs> be, yeah. Beyond this point, yeah. I'm almost certainly making up details. Go. But, but I remember we couldn't find a place to perform the audience got bored, 
And you couldn't you, find a place to perform? <laughs> Correct. Like, and where did they get bored? Before. It was one of those like uh, community college kind of gigs where it's like it's either going to be the hallway or gotcha, in front yeah. of the cafeteria. It's like, like or oh, whatever. here's our, our our student union. And it's like, cool, are we going to do it in the big uh, arena? Like, no, actually, we mostly... Uh, the improv groups that draw three people normally play the hallway <laughs> right do wherever you want yeah uh 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 i i i i just remember uh and 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 uh ooh, I, I i hope this doesn't land poorly uh i remember you being unperturbed <laughs> by our performance and me being <laughs> deeply Very disturbed yes, yeah, 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 yeah 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 that was the significant part of the nightmare so anyway i love you <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to mid Sunway way over to my car. I wish I could have subscribed to the pie dream instead. <laughs> Bryce topic. Our last topic. Zero fucks given globally. What the hell Bryce is going on? What is this? Celibacy month that, again? That's a, that's a, uh, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Gr Gr Devil's got to get his due. <laughs> Grew in our Discord. God said, "Be fruitful, <laughs> multiply." Yep. Devil said, "Keep it in your pants." <laughs> I'm the, be I'm, miserable. I'm the devil. <laughs> I don't like you screwing. I'm, yes. I got Hang a on, I, tongue. I'm working on this nightmare about pies. Yeah. <laughs> right, this is my worst one yet. This will stop all the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> it involves a bunch of Italians. Yeah, and I'm gonna at the end of it, I'm gonna add a new title card that totally subverts the point of the dream. <laughs> oh, like a, the uh, yes, yes. The uh, character became yeah. successfully inseminated and raised 15 kids. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Call back. <sighs> hey, Bryce, what's up? <laughs> so, so, Guru in our Discord, hey, man, uh, sent, sent along a funny little graphic. It's um, it's a it's a map of uh, Europe. I won't show it because it's got all the fun stuff on it but apparently it is how you say zero fucks given in different european languages uh. when, when, when do you when do you remember the first the first instance of that specific phrase it was after the year 2000 for sure zero, zero fucks given like, i don't give a fuck has been around forever correct yeah, right but, but 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 that new phrasing uh i i want to say between 2008 and 2012 or whatever yeah, zero I, yeah zero fucks given feels very internet-y like like leet speaky kind of i wonder if what know, if know your meme knows what if i told you that on this map zero fucks given is not the american phrase wait what what do you I think doubt the american it. phrase yeah is? that would make sense oh wait that, that's not the american it's, phrase it is not <laughs> Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I would say uh, uh, I don't give a fuck. All right, here we go. I, I'll, I'll okay. start with my guess as to the American phrase. <laughs> hey, buddy, I don't give fucks. Yeah. Hey, mister. <laughs> hey, 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 man. Uh, I, <laughs> you hard, think, you think, hard R's. You, give, give me hard you R's. Think, you think you're going to get a fuck out of me? I don't I, think there's so. a, I think that there's another thing coming to you. E I B. <laughs> That's our guess for America. Uh, yeah, you're close. America's is I don't give a rat's ass. Uh, it's not bad. I don't give a rat's ass. Pretty close. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> I, I definitely just saw one of the other ones. Yeah, that, well, there's a lot on here. Uh, okay, I don't know. What, name a European country, and I'll tell you what they say instead. Uh, Spain, España. España. Uh, Spain says, "I care a cucumber." <laughs> Oh my mother! All right, all right. Is this one of them funny, <coughs> funny maps where uh, they're I, just making shit up? I don't. What, what about London, England? Well, England is the zero fucks given. Oh. So wait, so, oh, so they take it. So they're, right. they're taking credit for it, they're huh? Taking it. That's right. That's they're imperializing creation. That's they're bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Chechnya. <laughs> yeah, make me find Chechnya on an, on an unlabeled country. What about yeah. China? What about what I about believe in China? They Turkey. say, "Oh, but it's your hooray!" It's your... Tyler Durden got caught in France. They say, "I beat my balls." I sure. <laughs> in... And I get up again. Then you're never gonna get me down. I beat my balls, and I get up again. You're I never gonna keep me down. I beat baguettes with my balls again. <laughs> I beat a testicle. I beat a <laughs> <laughs> what a wrinkle. Um, Italy. What do you guys think Italy? <laughs> what do you think Italy says instead uh, of zero? Italy uh, is let's get COVID. <laughs> Jesus, who are you, Brett? What the? F 
You stole my joke, yeah. man. This is like it with the funny voices. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, uh, I don't know, Italy. Give, give, us, okay. give us Italy. Uh, Italy is, it doesn't rub a dick to me. Ooh, that's good. That's a good one, yeah. Actually, I want to... Because I'm usually thinking about what rubs dicks. Now, what about, what about the Balkans? Yeah. God damn it. I, this Bro, is an unlabeled map oh of Europe. No. I don't Scan know. Scandinavia, Bryce. maybe. Wait, no, Around Bryce. Norway. Bryce, guess what the Balkans are. Just take a guess. <laughs> How about Belgium? How about this Belgium? Is, this think... is a stunning, stunning indictment of the Virginia education system. <laughs> Wow, I think we were. I think we were involved in a war while you were in school in this area. I mean, grade school, yeah, still counts. <laughs> How about Moldavia? Uh, Moldavia, yeah. Greece, Greece. Uh, theirs is special because it is sex-related and animal-related. Oh, yeah, yeah, big surprise. Uh, Let me guess. Does it have something to do with Zeus or Hercules? Always fucking animals, then. Not quite. It's flowers on my dick and bees all around. <laughs> oh, that, uh, Wait, that's these zero are bucks great. given? Yeah. Like these that's are zero great. bucks given? Flowers on my dick and bees, bees all around. around. Fucking, I showed up to a funeral the other day with flowers on my dick and bees all around. That sounds like a Grateful Dead song. Flowers on my dick and bees all around. Cocaine all around. So we've got we've got the full map here. If you want to see any of the oh no, don't you stop this. Give give me the Russian. The Russia's it's horse radish to me. It's horse and we've got it on the on the screen behind you. Yeah, that's uh, actually legit. Uh which one is that? I give a cat on uh, That's one of them Scandinavian countries. Yeah. That uh, it's Norway where I live. I don't give a I fuck. didn't live there. I Why the give, fuck I, do I, give I, a, I give a cat where you live. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, no, go go back up. Go back up. The other the other uh, uh, Scandinavian country. It interests me as much as a kilogram of shit. <laughs> All right, new favorite. Uh, 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 I, I I believe that is uh, Bahamas. It, it, <laughs> it's uh, this one, the kilogram of shit one. I yeah. have Estonian uh, dessert powder too on my ass. Well, I think those are two different ones, but yeah. yeah. Oh, I have Estonian dessert powder too on or my ass. On my ass. One of them is I have it on my. I have it in my ass. That's is one of them. Ass. I care about look, it. Look at how many of these say just my dick hurts. Oh, even, <laughs> how about the even the dog is uninterested. <laughs> yeah. Portugal is I'm pooping on this. Yep, that's good. That's yeah. For me to poop on. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> triumph. Remember that? Kid? Yeah, that that's a good callback. You get points. I Greece is my favorite. Flowers, Flowers on, on my dick and bees all around. Yeah. That's that's an iron. Hey. Wine. I do like to have your opinion, but not on my dick. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I don't give a frostbitten onion. I think that there's something. Very... Also, one of them is, this is blood pudding to me, which I refuse to believe is not British. the British one. Yeah. I think these Brits, man, they steal shit all the time. I don't, know. I don't give a frostbitten Brits. onion. <laughs> I, I like that one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah thank you. Like Flowers that. on my dick and bees all around. And yeah. bees all and around. Bees all around. Uh, well, hey, around. Brian. Yeah. Patreon.com slash great night. Yeah, dude. What about it? Uh, it's on a, a watch list. Of what? Uh, places Thanks. I'm going to watch my money go. Yeah. What, your money? Yeah. Because you're going you're gonna to chip in that's because the that's the cool pledge, thing to do. Is a percentage of all the money we get, yeah. I give back to the community How much by is giving percentage? it back to us. Um, okay. <laughs> so it's just kind of you going to the site and pretending uh, to hit. No, I, no, no. I, 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 you, you do? Know what? I, uh, I'm going to take the Patreon pledge right now. Go ahead. Uh -oh. He's going to head on over there right now to patreon.com. Last great night. That's Ladies right. and gentlemen, if you head on over there to patreon.com. Last great night. Then you're going to be able to be a patron. <laughs> if you're a patron, you get our exclusive Thursday episode. And boy, howdy, have they been bangers lately. So good. Very good episodes. It's a fun time. Brian is entering all of his credit card information. Uh, all done. He's, all he's, done. Uh, with big flourishes. 
become a patron of his own show. Yep, that's right. Now I get four bonus episodes per month, unless it's a special month, in which case uh, I get, you get five. five. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Any, anytime that a month has five Thursdays, you get five episodes uh, uh, per month. Yep, they come out on Thursdays. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, no, no. Sometimes there's five Thursdays in a month. Yeah, they come out on Thursdays. <laughs> yeah. So four yeah. or five. Yeah. Poor, poor, poor. Why are you against this marketing? Hey, man. Just, no, you're what good. the fuck, man? No, this good. is marketing. We're over here marketing, and he's over there like flowers on my dick and bees all around. Exactly, right? Like, I'm like, a lime tree. Look at me. Mock think, bang, mock bang. You think, Bryce, when, when you walk down the, the aisle at mm-hmm. HEB looking for pie ingredients, and, 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 my and, husband. Like, and, oh, and all of a sudden you see, like, oh, 20% more, you're like, actually, that's nearly not 20% more. Well, just, we're offering that <laughs> hard to market white white words on a black background. Bryce became a subscriber at patreon.com <laughs> slash night. It's a great night. It's the same day. Oh, close. That was close. And scene. Okay. And scene. Uh, uh also I realized that I need my phone. Oh, for this god damn it. Oh, I'll get your you phone. Got, you got so it. Justin uh Justin made the game today. Yeah. yeah. So, so listen. Yeah, Justin. So we're, Brett, normally we're very harsh oh, in our in judgment. Room. We're gonna be extra okay. polite. No matter how good or bad the game is, and, because uh, and, and just to point out that because Justin made the game, there are no punishments this time. Mm. Uh, I think the punishment is that Justin made the is game. the game. Yeah, yeah. No, mm. I, that's not true. Wow, flowers on my dick. Flower bees all around. That's right. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> uh, yeah. So so Justin made the game. So so he uh, uh, will be proctoring it. Brett and I will also be playing as well. Yes. Um, and this is related to the thing that uh, that he was talking about. Uh, maybe a little pep in the step, please, Justin or <laughs> get, 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 Oh my <laughs> God! <laughs> Why don't you move <laughs> your ass? So, uh, you should clap while you say that. Then he'll understand. Let's move it. Hit your mark. <laughs> I I really wish that we were on a network or something, just so I could submit that last two. minutes minutes uh when i asked for a raise (laughs) 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 i usually have all my stuff to get my phone (laughs) let's let's put a little pep in your step come on this ain't the pie aisle guy (laughs) (laughs) this is a community college and this 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 is is the pie ingredients line at h-e-b so amongst all the bullshit that i saved uh, that my mom has been graciously uh, storing somewhere. Among your treasures, next to the photo that you oh, saved. Saddam Hussein's <laughs> balls that I, felt that I needed to save forever. Uh, I also apparently was a meticulous hoarder of movie stubs throughout my high school and early college years. Now, I, I'm obviously, high school you is not here. But yeah. if you were to imagine high school you being here... What reason might that person have for holding on to a photo of Saddam Hussein's balls? <laughs> I think that was that that rationale is the same as I would have now. Okay, I agree. Can you I agree. fucking believe that a major metropolitan newspaper put a gigantic picture of Saddam Hussein's balls on the front page? Yes. That New was, York Post. I, yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yes, Absolutely. but also it's like, you, of course you're gonna save it. <laughs> That shit's amazing. You right-click, save as. Uh, so, saved a bunch of movie stubs. Yep. Which means that Wait, I... Did you want, like, movie rewards, hoping they would be invented in the future? <laughs> do you want to get to the game, Sorry, or do no, you not no, want to no, get no, to I the do, game? I do, I do, I do. And I'm going to submit this clip when I submit my raise. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly who I'm torturing right now. Uh, so, here's the game we're going to play. What was Justin watching... I have the physical stubs in my back pocket. Ooh. I also have not only the movie that I really saw on the date I will give you, mm. but three other movies that were in theaters on that date. Ready. And so you guys have to pick through them. Uh, this will also, you guys can ask me any questions. Oh. Uh, uh, and, and you can inspect my honesty on anything, uh, but I will do my best to lie to you. <laughs> Uh, tracks okay all right here we go so uh here's a a sample one all right example may 19th 1999 did i see notting hill never been kissed trippin or star wars episode one the phantom menace 
You saw the Phantom Menace. Again, that's May 19th, 1999. Yeah. Mm. No. The the month I quit my day job and stood in line to watch the Phantom Menace, you too did the same thing on May 19th. And I uh, drove up from Galveston to uh, watch it at the uh, theater right there by Highway 8. We all loved it. Indeed. Yes. That is oh. May 19th. 1999 uh, at the see. Movico Cinema, The Phantom Menace. Price, I will give you. I, I, I did share that. Uh, yeah, well, are the are you just going down the list? Yeah, on the order. Yeah, okay. just just one through great through ten. Uh, yeah, there we go. Star Wars 11. Episode One, May 19, 1999. Phantom Menace. All right, so that doesn't count. Here we go. Game what? begins now. <laughs> okay, that was the example, right? That was the example. November 9th, 1999. <laughs> did young Justin see? Flubber, the re-release of The Little Mermaid, Starship Troopers, or Bean, the Mr. Bean movie. <laughs> this game rules. <laughs> November 9th, 1999. Who's going first? Uh, 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 Br- Bryce, you start. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say the Mr. Bean film. Bean. Is. Bean. Are we all guessing? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to uh, guess Bean. Brett? Did, uh, what year did Starship Troopers come out? It he, wasn't he, 99. He, he already tipped that the movies were at the same time. Yeah. He, he tipped that, that he's not fibbing about the release dates. The so time that means right. it was out at that time. Yes. I mean, I'm surprised as you are. Starship Troopers was a horrible, wonderful. Movie. No, is uh, one of those words was correct. Yeah, and it was not horrible. I'm gonna say Starship. What What are your thoughts about Flubber, starring uh, Robin Williams? R.I.P. I uh, R.S. So Flubber or Robin? Uh, yeah, I mean that was you know God bless him, he needed that paycheck. Uh, I Flubber is a good movie. Yeah, man. Flubber is a good movie, man. Man, I ain't, I ain't never seen the filthy motherfucker. I'm, I'm going back to Starship Troopers. Yeah. Starship Troopers. Yeah. yeah, I'm on the troop. Starship Troopers. On November 9th. Come on, baby. 1999. 11-9 is the reverse of 9-11. At the GCC <laughs> Fountain Cinema. Go on. At 3.15 in the afternoon. Three. I saw Bean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's me. Bean, 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 that motherfucker bean, is bean, always bean, up to something, bean. man. So, like, you want, yeah, so you wanted to celebrate the anniversary of the Berlin Wall coming down by watching Bean. By watching Bean. <laughs> okay, <laughs> nope, that tracks. Yeah, did you enjoy it? I mean, you it's don't Mr. Remember. Bean. You but, don't. You know, he's always, you know, you think he knows, but he, I don't know, it's, something's going wrong. <laughs> I was mad at him. That shit's crazy. He, he doesn't realized, talk. Hey, I just realized something. The all the people playing the game have the same first letter in their name. That's right. Yeah, that's right. True. <laughs> in fact, the first two letters. Listen, we've talked about this. I'm glad this game is so engaging <laughs> that we have. I'm just we have listen, we, we, we say it every Bean episode to take it over the chat. <laughs> it's just nothing but a block of B B B. The hype train for B. Can you believe they're going to get rid of this? We've already talked about this. We say it every single episode. Send your high thoughts to oh. greatnightpod at gmail.com. I, I'm an announcer. June thirtieth, two thousand. Okay. Oh. To past the millennium, yes, did <laughs> actually technically the millennium. It's really 2000. <laughs> On June 30th, it's no year. Did I bro. see Patriot Shanghai Noon Gone in 60 Seconds Ooh. or Road Trip? My life. Everybody knows all these movies, right? Because I, the yeah. one thing I was worried, Bryce, do, 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 what, do you know all these? years ago? Uh, I'm... Are there any... If, if you have any questions on the movies, I do... Yeah, I do what genre would you say... very well. What genre would you say Shanghai Noon is? Yeah, what was your favorite scene? Action comedy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. My favorite, favorite part was when Owen Wilson was like, 
Whoa. Hey, Jackie Chan, what are you doing? And he was like, <laughs> we need to get out of here. And he's like, Jackie Chan. I don't know, man. Like, I'm, oh, well, I feel, it's a lot I feel easier like, to do the Jackie like, Chan. I was about to say, I feel like you're only doing one no, impression no, no. here. Don't, this is a very accurate impression. Don't like that Owen yeah. Wilson accent. Owen Wilson, was like, Owen Wilson was like, hey, man, why don't you do some kung fu to get us out of here? And then Jackie Chan was like, Mr. I will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do remember that scene. <laughs> you got it, buddy. You know what? You've convinced me. <laughs> you definitely saw Shanghai Dude. Um, <laughs> yeah. What, what was your favorite car in Gone in 60 Seconds? I like the the uh, Mustang. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You convinced me. I'm going to go with Gone in 60 Seconds. I like it when the Mustang goes vroom. <laughs> and what were the other two again? Patriot. And road trip. So, uh, no, here I, I got a question. Do you ever make that chair in Patriot? Are you talking about the time in the Passion of the Christ? No, nope. Jesus invents the chair. <laughs> no, that's that's what he. That's did. another Mel that, Gibson movie. That, that is another that is Mel correct. Gibson movie. Uh, technically, he invents a table. And he does invent a table. Uh, yes, yeah. uh, but 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 uh, no, I'm talking about the Patriot. And you've already betrayed yourself and revealed the fact that you don't remember that he spends half the movie making a chair. Making a chair. So that's that's that one's out. I do I do know it, but it's Heath Ledger and Mel Gibson. Making chairs. Making chairs. <laughs> and selling them at Shanghai Colonial Noon. Williamsburg. Yeah, I hate yeah. Shanghai. No one went with road trip. Mm. Uh no one went with road trip. Uh uh Is that the one so with that Seth it? Green? It, it was the one with um, uh, uh, Michelle Trachtenberg, uh, uh, Tom Green, Tom Green. Yeah. Okay. Is that up a river? Are we thinking of up a river? You're thinking of no. Freddie got fingered. That's another movie. <laughs> We're thinking of American Pie. Universal City Walk. God damn it. Okay. In Orlando at 840 p.m. on Friday, June 30th, 2000 for the five dollar student rate. Excellent. I saw Patriot. Oh, uh, how do you not remember the chairs? It was like the most important detail of the well, movie. He lied. Well, it was he 22 years ago. Fucking uh, liar. I, no, I, I legit do not remember the chairs. <laughs> the opening scene is he's making a chair and he sits down and he's like, oh, I'm glad I'm not Australian and I'm going to be an American soon. And then the chair collapses and he's like, oh, your chairs. Let's negotiate. I, but I want, did that help, I'm Justin? interested in your chair. No. And then that dude gets beheaded. I, I don't remember a lot of that movie. Probably because it was boring. Mm. Probably because they spent so much time fucking making chairs. And I was like, this movie sucks, man. That is hatchets. <laughs> it's Norm Abrams' favorite movie. May 31st, 1999. Did I see The Mummy? The Phantom Menace? <laughs> <laughs> Entrapment? Or Life? Life. Wow. Life. What is Life, the Eddie Murphy, that, uh, Martin, Martin Lawrence Lawrence. comedy, prison comedy. comedy. Where they're in prison for comedy? life. Dramedy. It was good. My cornbread. Oh, Remember? So good. The cornbread scene. That's such a good movie. Yeah. Uh, hey, Justin. Yeah. I think you're just crazy enough to go... And see Star Wars and three weeks Star later. Wars again. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I might be. <laughs> I mean, the mummy, though. <laughs> the mummy, though. Entrapment. Uh, I don't know. I mean. Right, what do you think? How do I say this about the mummy? I mean, there's such. Don't, don't, we do not tolerate Frasier slander in this house. No. Yeah, dude. We do not. There is such strong... There's so many classic lines from that movie. I Try don't... spinning. That's a good trick. Do not. That's what I call pod racing. <laughs> Poodoo. Poodoo. <laughs> no, Count Dooku. I will uh, take you down. Uh, they, all right. Yeah, you don't Live even, long and be any... the oh, nice guy. Christ. No, there's... I mean, I'm just trying to... Uh, nanu, see, nanu if, and stuff. If you're right? really drawn to the strong bisexual energy that is the mummy... <laughs> Uh, all right. I'll, I'll take a time. I'll take a time out on this one. Go on. 
I mean, because when you think about it, you know, there's Rachel. Sand ain't got no Rachel. gender. Rachel. <laughs> Stick your dick in it. You yeah. don't know if you're fucking boy but, sand or girl no, sand. But, but, yeah. but then he might hate sand because it's rough. And he gets True. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Again, he gets second everywhere. movie. Yeah. 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 Right. But he would have been in Florida at the time. Would, would you? Were you in Florida at the time? Were you fucking yes. sand? <laughs> and were you fucking sand? A very good question, Brian. Thank Which you. Which I might be. There we go. Interesting. Not a no. Not a no. Not a no. Not a no. <laughs> uh, Ooh, no I'm, entrapment. No life. Uh, Nobody thinks going to see life. Uh, I believe there is only one scene in Eddie all Murphy of entrapment. Eddie Murphy wasn't doing like those kind of comedies back then. That, like, that was, was a fan. Yeah, I'm sick. It's a great movie. Yeah, yeah. You know, that was because I love that, 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 that movie peak so Martin much. Martin Lawrence. Peak Martin Lawrence. Because too. I love that movie so much, I'm going to say you watch Life. Life. All right. Bryce? Brett's got life, Bryce. Uh, I'm going to say, gosh, Phantom Menace would be a very funny, correct <laughs> answer here, but uh, I'll go with I'll uh, uh, the Mummy. I'll take the Mummy. You already picked, yeah, Phantom Menace. I think you were fucking the. Sa- I think I think you were more horny for the sand on Tatooine <laughs> than you were for the sand <laughs> in the Mummy. 1:30 p.m. on Monday. Oh, 1:30. <laughs> it's Phantom Menace. May 31st, 1999. <laughs> the Phantom Menace. Yeah! <laughs> Unbelievable. As soon as I heard what time it was, it's like, he went see the Phantom Menace. Uh, uh, Justin goes home and, and Gloria says, uh, so how was the movie? And Justin was like, Man, I fucking love sand. It's coarse <laughs> and harsh. And it gets it gets everywhere. Gets everywhere. Mm. June 16th, 2001. Like- Moulin Rouge. Tomb Raider. Ooh. Atlantis, the Lost Empire. Wow. Or Bully. Ooh. Wait, uh, uh, which year again? This is 2001. 2001, June 16th. Okay. Uh, uh, this is picture yourself. You're in the summer of the shark. Yep. You ain't never <laughs> seen no 9 11. <laughs> <That's laughs> nope. You I'm, ne- I'm detecting a theme know, in Brian's comedy lately. You wouldn't even lately. know what one was. <laughs> That's right. If they ran it right in front of you. All you know is that on an 11 I mean, 9, you, you saw Mr. Bean. <laughs> yep. Moulin Rouge. Tomb Raider. You saw Atlantis, Tomb Raider. The Lost Empire, or Bully. Did you ever see Bully? The, I, I only know the Rockstar video game. Yeah, it's not the same thing. Really? It was an independent movie. Actually, it was uh, based on a real story that happened in South Florida, whereabouts I grew up. What was they the... had a bully over there? Uh, yeah, and then a bunch of people killed him oh. in a housing development. What? Uh, but when you watch Tomb Raider, yeah. she was trying to find... What was it again? Oh, some treasure or some shit. <laughs> I don't remember fucking what she was looking for in Tomb Raider. Name, oh, I was, name, I was, name I was, two I was, things you remember from that movie. Them titties. <laughs> <laughs> them titties, though. All right, all right. And I mean, guns. I was, I was fucking guns. like, I was, I was 18. I was like 19. Oh, Brian, you remember the guns. He remembers the titties. So. Uh, was there any sand? Was there? Or is that mostly jungle and shit? Not, I wouldn't know. I don't know. It was, it was a lot of stone Yeah, temples. it was a lot of stone yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Stone's stone. just sand that needs to be and ripened. John Voight was her dad, and there's a real dad, <laughs> yeah. right? I was in Tomb Raider. Yeah. Yep. yeah. He didn't get swallowed by the snake like he did in Anaconda. <laughs> Anaconda, yeah. Anaconda. Uh, that was that memory anaconda with Owen Wilson when he was like, hey, man, there's a snake. <laughs> like, hey, hey, Ice Cube, are you going to get that snake? And Ice Cube was like, yeah, mister, I'm going to do that right now. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing bad happened ever. <laughs> <laughs> Moulin Rouge, Tomb Raider, Atlantis, The Lost Empire, or Bully? I'm, I'm going to pick the one movie... Of those four, I think I would have seen at the time. The movie about getting the time dagger Tomb Raider. Yeah. Oh. Is my pick. Okay. Brian? Oh, yeah. No, you were you were Tomb in Tomb those Raider. raids. Right? I'm just going to counter program and say <laughs> Moulin Rouge just because it just seems so wrong. Mm. Yeah. What was that song they sang at the end of Moulin Rouge? At the end? Yeah. They're all like, mana, mana. <laughs> 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 uh, Lake Wazamo played Toulouse Lautrec, right? Yeah. In Moulin Rouge. Yep. I wouldn't know. They did. Uh, I ain't never they seen did, it. They did. Awesome they did Nirvana. Of Roxanne. Is there sand yeah. in it? No. no. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of absence. That's though. how I know you didn't watch it. 
at the Sawgrass 23 Regal Cinemas at 8 p.m. I saw Atlantis the Lost ah! Empire. Ah. Whatever happened to that place? Uh, I don't know. I think it's still a Bahamanian resort. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it hosts Dragon Con every year. <laughs> September 20th, 1999. Austin Powers. Whoa. Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery, the first one? Yes. Okay. Blue Streak. Oof. Mystery Men. Oh. Or The Sixth Sense. Ooh. I uh, think. In, in Mystery Men, uh, what did uh, William H. Macy play? He uh, he wasn't Mr. Furious. That was Ben Stiller. And he wasn't the fork guy. That was Paul Rubens. He didn't have the head in the bowling ball. That was Janine Garofalo. Right. So I literally know everybody's <laughs> shit but William H. Macy. I can't okay. remember. He was, oh, wait, no. Did he have his Josh? No. No, that was another William H. Macy movie. He does it well. He does one thing and he does it well. Yeah, I don't remember. Oh, the shoveler? Yes. Okay. I, I'm the shoveler. I shovel well. One more time. Austin Powers. Mm. Blue Streak. Mm. Mystery Men. The Sixth Sense. September 20th, 1999. What, what time did I see? What time? Oh, yeah, what time? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can give you that info. And and the, the ticket price as well. If you oh, oh, well, no way. Why not? This was at... I only have so many lime Skittles. This was at <laughs> uh, 5.30 in the afternoon. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it was a $3.75 Twilight God. ticket. So that means... At, oh. at, 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 at the GCC Fountains 8 cinema oh that changes my answer i think yeah i'm, I'm gonna say uh i'm almost certain that austin powers have been out for a while by then a long while uh so i'm gonna say that if it was that cheap it was like a like a a, a, a re-showing of austin powers or something no 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 the, these the, the the price was literally just because it was twilight it was 5 30 yeah. so it's just an early showing and okay. also gcc was always cheap so it's like like they they never really got up to the like eight nine dollar price at like the bigger multiplexes it was just like a small eight theater chain. in austin powers you yeah. have only one question mm -hmm. oh do it <laughs> <laughs> you set it up <laughs> yeah you won't do the joke you won't do comedy on our comedy show yeah. Yeah, well, i won't do it. it's Why stolen valor do Stolen okay. Valor? I'm not going to ask you if I make you horny and then do a dance and then, because that's his bit. But that, that's the movie I think you watched. And I think that's when you fell in love with Sand. <laughs> I think you got real confused. An amazing tapestry being woven to yeah. the main folks. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm going to say, because I don't know what it, I, I'm not familiar with this film. I'm going to say Blue Streak. Another Martin Lawrence. Uh, uh, it's the one where he uh, pretends to be a cop. And they, uh, yep. on the poster, they had Blue Streak. The B and the S were real big yep. because he's full of BS. He's on a Blue Streak. He is. Martin Lawrence, what did he sound uh, like? Dave Chappelle was, was in it. <laughs> he sounded like yeah. Yeah. Oh, Describe oh, how both of them sound sounded. Martin Lawrence is like, like uh, 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 <laughs> walking into a, a, a bathroom and Ice Cube's there, and he's like, hey, mister, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yeah! Uh yeah, sticking with the uh, Martin powers. Lawrence, Martin Lawrence, and and Dave Chappelle. Dave huh. Chappelle actually had a whole thing about uh, he almost walked off the set of that because they wanted him to dress up in drag, and he had this whole thing about how that was a way that they would emasculate black comedians. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, there you go. I, be, I, be, I bet he just dropped the issue. Uh, <laughs> turns out it was uh, uh, he's a strong-willed guy, and he never <laughs> talked about it again. Brett, what did you All guess? Right, Brett, uh, I think you watched Phantom Menace. <laughs> that's, that's not an option. Not an option. The Sixth Sense, Mystery Men, Blue Streak, Austin Powers. Now, what is the Sixth Sense? <laughs> well, that's uh, Love. a kid. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> Brett, no, sorry, I cut you off. Uh, well, that's where a kid. No, yeah, yeah, we all know. Drake, man, no, I know. <laughs> one, one, pick, a, pick a choice in the game. Oh, okay. I thought you were. Okay. Uh,. I think I'm going to go with Six Cents. Six Cents, oh, yeah. Bryce, uh, Blue yeah. I'm going. I'm going Blue Streak. Right. St sticking with the International Man of Mystery. International Man of Mystery. I saw Blue Streak. Oh, oh, oh. oh I hate I Mister. Love, I love Martin of... Lawrence, man. What can I say? Yeah. 
Yeah. I love You're Martin. not a real I was cop. a big Martin fan. But you didn't watch Life that Damn, day. Gina. June 4th, 1999, did I see The Phantom Menace? <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks later. Tarzan, <laughs> Big Daddy, or The General's Daughter. Ooh, Big Daddy. Ooh, Big Daddy's a good... Is, yeah. There's something there. Adam, yeah. Adam Sandler connection. Also, he was from Syracuse in that movie. Wore a lot of Syracuse stuff, and I would eventually go to Syracuse. Connection. That's what sold me. <clears throat> no. Uh, yeah, I was gonna like, no. wow. Question. Yes. When Qui Gon Jinn visits <laughs> mm -hmm. the leader of the Gungans, yeah, what does Brian Blessed sound like? So, uh, uh, you and you and McGregor is like, uh, uh, you know that we have uh, very good things to do as Jedi. Uh, these are all in symbiosis. You and the Naboo people are are, are one. And Brian Blessed says. Yes, mister! <laughs> Why don't you go through the planet's core? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's worth it. That's my vote. Um, so I'm you think Phantom Menace? Yes, I do. I, I think you went three times. <laughs> what time of the day? Oh, yeah, All time. Right. Very important. Go. Time of the day. <laughs> time of the day. Time of the day. Because I, I think mm. you see it at 1 p.m. on a Friday. <laughs> it's Phantom Menace. It's going to be Phantom Menace. 1 p.m. on a Friday. Uh, hey, mister. <laughs> <laughs> All three of you? Oh, I'll, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll buck the trend. I'll, I'll guess Tarzan. Phantom Menace, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Again! Again! I saw, again. <laughs> I saw Phantom Menace again. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, here we go. March 25th, 2001. Did I see The Mexican, Hannibal, Chocolat, or Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon? Ooh. Oh, dude, you're... Uh, uh, hey, in... So these, are, these were... These were uh, uh, this is the indie, the indie phase. In yeah. Chocolat, what flavor Skittles did they have? Whatever Johnny Depp wanted. Was it Penelope Cruz? I think it was Penelope Cruz and Chocolat as well. Uh -huh. That was her big breakout. Trick question. <laughs> they only had chocolate. <laughs> it was chocolate. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, they only had the green M&Ms. Uh, what, uh, what happened when people ate her cake? Uh, some French shit. They were just like, ah, oh, you're so fucking French. Here's all I remember about Chocolat. It was like Johnny it Depp's Bruce like, Bruce Willis to be dead. Johnny Depp's like, ah, oh, fuck it. Isn't it weird that Tim Burton is directing this? Because this is pretty much the only movies I do these days. <laughs> and then he's like, I don't know. We're French. This town is so French. We'll never stop being French. And Johnny Depp shows up and goes, we. Oui. And then I don't know, he falls in love with Penelope Cruz. They make chocolate, and and that's the end of the movie. There we go. The Mexican, all I remember is it was a massive bomb, and it was Brad Pitt, uh, Julia, Louis Dreyfus. No, 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 no. Julia. No, Moore? no. I remember because she was. Wasn't she, Julia Louis Dreyfus? She it was, was like Julia. Louis. Could it have been Julia Louis no, no, Dreyfus? No, no, no. Who was who was <laughs> Julia Louis? Fucking Dreyfus. runaway bride. <laughs> what? Who was? Who was? She was fucking massive. Pretty woman. <laughs> oh, Yulia, Yulia, uh, um, that one, and James Gandolfini, and it was like supposed to be like a big, massive team up, and it sucked. And then Hannibal obviously was Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, Hannibal was Hannibal. Fuck. <laughs> Silence of the Lambs is in Crouching Ireland. Tiger, Hidden Dragon. <sighs> Dude, I, I, I guarantee. I remember, I remember my favorite scene in Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. <laughs> with <was> funny, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mister, you're gonna <laughs> fight me with these swords? <laughs> yeah. And then the other guy was like, Hell yeah, I'm gonna fight you, buddy. Let's climb this tree. Yeah. <laughs> it was bamboo, but I still think you saw it. This was the decade of people kicking 300 style. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm Ryan. Gonna... Mm. Yep, Crouching you... Tiger. Crouching yeah. Tiger. Price. Uh, what, what are the other three? Chocola. Chocola. Uh, Hannibal and the Mexican. And the Mexican. I'm going to say Hannibal. Uh, one more question. Uh -huh. What time was it? Oh. Mm. Good, que good, quest. Mm. Good, good question. Good question. Good question. Thank, thank good question. Thank you. Phantom Menace. Two fifty p.m. Ooh. on a Sunday. Oh. Yeah, that's that's Crouching Tiger. Auditorium time. four at the Sawgrass Twenty Three. That's not the big one. Four is not the big one. Yep. 
Four is not the big one. Uh, give me the, give me the ones again. Uh, uh, chocolate, <laughs> crouching tiger, the Mexican, Hannibal. And Hannibal. Hannibal. Yeah. I'm going to say Hannibal. I saw chocolate. Ah, Sensitive boy. Sensitive, Sensitive boy. boy. Watching Sensitive the movies boy. so girls will talk to me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> May 20th, 2001. The Mummy Returns. <laughs> A lot of Shrek. Sand. Shrek. Oh. Pearl Harbor. Ooh. Or Bridget Jones Diary. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> question. Uh-huh. When you watched Shrek, <laughs> what did Donkey sound like? <laughs> <laughs> well, Shrek, Shrek was all like, I don't want nobody in me swamp. <laughs> And then Donkey was like, <laughs> All right, mister, well, we're making waffles in the morning. Yeah! And, and the, what is the ginger? Man? That's all her what face. <laughs> da, 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 and I'm a believer. <laughs> Somebody. Somebody. Wow. Uh, uh, all right. Mummy Returns, <laughs> mm-hmm. Shrek, Pearl Harbor, or Bridget Jones Diary. Ooh. I feel like we got played. Really, with the Shock only bet there is, did I have a girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> that to give you question. a wild guess I'm as to what the answer did there was. Did you have a girlfriend? Uh, I do not think so. No, not at not at this point. He's lying. He's lying. This was he's he a lethario. No, no, no. This, this was. Diary. I was going to college. That was like it was the summer before. He I was, was in love with academics. <laughs> no, I actually desperately tried to hit on a few girls that I had crushes on. Uh, at the end of high school, oh. on your way out, on Last the chance. way out, yeah, that failed just, no. yeah, and it's always a whiff, yeah, big whiffer. Uh, I'm gonna but, say, ooh, yeah. I'm gonna say the Mummy Returns. I'm I believe say, also that was a lot of sand on that one. Now. The that was the uh, uh, one where they debuted the Rock as, as the, the Scorpion, Scorpion King. King. Yeah, King. Mm. Was highly. And I was a massive wrestling fan at the time. Yeah, I mean, still am, but but certainly then. Uh, so, Mummy Returns, Shrek, Pearl Harbor, Bridget Jones Diary. You say Shrek. Yep. Bryce? I say uh, the, the Mummy Returns. Okay. Bridget Jones Diary. And I saw her face. Ba, da, 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 I'm a believer. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, 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 final two. Final two. September 1st, 2000. Did I go see Saving Grace? Bring it on. The original Kings of Comedy or Nurse Betty? Oh. Uh, I, I will tell you that even looking up these movies, aside from Bring It On, which I do remember, uh, yeah. I and, and the original Kings of Comedy, Nurse Betty and Saving Grace, I had to watch the trailers for uh, to, to actually, refresh actually, my memory on them. Actually, have, have you ever seen the original Kings of Comedy? The, not the... I mean, you mean the the movie, the yeah, King of, yeah, 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 the King of Comedy, not not the the concert film with no, no, Bernie no, no. Mac and right. No, that's the one I'm talking about. Yeah. Have you seen it? Yes. Well, uh, uh, <laughs> what was the best part? <laughs> <laughs> hey, and and also that, the one guy. It was, it was when Cedric the Entertainer. <laughs> Was like as he st- as what he, he said, defeatedly like, steps back for his kick. <laughs> as when Cedric the Entertainer said, "Hey, Mister, yeah." <laughs> he didn't even have any. You ever to... notice when white people are like, "Hey, I like sandwiches." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we be loving sandwiches. I'm telling you, we do. We love them so as much. Here. Oh, fucking so love funny, sandwiches. It's so relatable. <laughs> Nurse Betty. Do you guys nurse? remember Nurse Betty? Yeah. Oh, dude. she was a nurse. <clears throat> she had that famous line. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't have a lot of memorable lines in it. <laughs> nurse Betty is about Renee Zellweger, who is a uh, wait housewife who Wouldn't loves she Bridget Jones. She was, yeah. but she was very hot at this time. This is a big Zellweger was schedule was packed. Zellweger fever taking the nation. Uh, she is a housewife who believes she is in love. With a man on a soap opera played by Greg Kinnear. Yep. She's getting divorced with her shitbag husband. Yep. But her shitbag husband also has contracted hitmen to kill her. 
so she can they can they, he can be rid of her. So the two hitmen played by Chris Rock and Morgan Freeman are chasing after her. It's one of those very talky '90s quirky black comedies. It's good. Uh, Saving Grace is about starring Craig Ferguson is about a woman whose husband dies and they start growing pot in a small English town. Mm. They, it's a pot Brit comedy. Mm. Pot Brit comedy. Yeah. Wow. I don't see a lot it's of just that. a lot of like Craig Ferguson going, Oh, like, we're getting weed in like, it. I think we should grow weed. And this old weird lady going like, like, oh, I think we should grow weed too. <laughs> and then they go, oh, and then, you guys are growing weed over here. It, no, it's, no, it's, no, it's, it's, I want to help you with the, the trailer. The, the, the trailer is all, it's like, it's like all the setup to they need to grow weed. And then it's just nothing but every shitty fucking like people are doing weed joke ever, but with old British people. And I'll tell you what, it's charming. It's just like a bunch of old British lady being like, I'm hungry now. Are you cool? Actually, I, I, I think you, well, nope. I think you convinced me that you watched the trailer today. I think yeah. you went and yeah. saw the original Kings of Comedy or whatever the original Kings of Comedy, yeah. uh, bring it on and nurse Betty are, are your options. So you say the original Kings of Comedy. Yep. If, if right. he's going to do Kings, I'll do, uh, bring it on. Right. I wanted to do bring it on. You can, you can do it. Yeah. yeah. Fine. Bryce. Okay. So we can, uh, right. No, that's tide, okay. Bryce rises rise all, but that's fine. I went before Jesus you. Christ. <laughs> uh, okay. It'll be bringing on. All right. Oh, Fine. yes. You're doing the movie. The name of the movie. Bring yeah. it. Yeah, okay. Sorry. <laughs> I saw Saving Grace. God ah, damn it. it. Oh, so smart because I see British movies. About think I'm pot. interesting because <laughs> I'm going to talk about them. Uh, uh, so is this the last question? Final question. <laughs> hey, what's do, what? do, we, do we have the score? Yeah, I think I have a score. Do you maybe him? Uh, Bryce has uh, two. Uh, Brian has three. Uh -huh. Brett has one. Brett has one. Yeah. Uh, right. God, there's no consequences. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> the twenty point question. Oh, damn Here it. We go. October first, nineteen ninety nine. All right. Did I see American Beauty? Call Fight it. Club, Double Jeopardy, American Beauty, <laughs> oh, or Three Kings. I called it. I'm locking it in. Yeah, go for Step it, it away. Time. Done. American Beauty. Yeah. What's that most famous line that uh, that 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 the lead actor has in American Beauty? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh you know, uh, uh, he's <laughs> filming the bag going on. He's like, like. Hey, mister, I just filmed the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Yeah! <laughs> gonna be president before I get disgraced. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself in the movie. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah! Spoiler alert. What the fuck? Wait, are we You're the gonna... It was... <laughs> ah, don't watch Fight Club, that movie about quitting your day job to do what you want. Watch my movie about quitting your day job and... Doing what you want. Yeah. I didn't realize that both those movies yeah, end with the characters shooting themselves in the head. Uh, also, they both blackmail their bosses. They're the same fucking movie. Which Only one? one of them fucks uh, an, an appropriately Mina, aged Mina woman. Mina yeah. yeah. I guess she is still in grade school. Unlike uh, Helena Bottom Carter's line. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, so, yeah. Yeah. Fight Club, Double Jeopardy, American Beauty, and Three American Kings. Beauty. Lock it in. Nobody, nobody, in nobody sleep on Three Kings, though. Three Kings is great. I love Three Kings. It is great, I, but I think you saw it on I'm, DVD I'm later. Losing, I know I'm going to lose. I'm going to say Three Kings because I like that movie. Mm. Uh, I'll say Fight Club because I think I think Three Kings is a red hair. I think you're trying to I think you're trying to game theory me, Justin. I think you're trying to. There is a lot of sand in Three Kings, though. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, sand. <laughs> it's American I mean, it takes beauty, place in the desert. Big sand. Uh, they called it a sand buster. <laughs> Last of, question. Instead of a blockbuster. At that GCC. Yeah. At what time? Fountains 8. 10 15. I guess that's at night because it doesn't have an AM PM on it. I saw Ashley Judd in Double Jeopardy! Oh. 
You all fucking lose. No, I win. Because no, I have the won. most points. Yes, you won. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the way winning works. Yay. Nope. Sorry, it's minus 20 <laughs> points that brings you all into negative territory. I win. A history of cinema for me. Hooray. Hooray. Free sand for everyone. <laughs> I love Sam. Thank you to Justin Robert Young for sending in this game. If you've got an <laughs> idea for a game, a punishment, a high thought, whatever, please send it into our email address, greatnightpod at gmail.com. It's a great place to send it. One more time, greatnightpod at gmail.com. We also got it in the show notes. That was such a good game that we that went awesome. very long on it. And I, I, I don't know what else there is in the tank. I mean, we've covered a lot of ground. Well, I think that we have email. Wait, oh, would you like to? Oh, shit. I, did, I didn't set this up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey we, you know what, Bryce? Yeah. Oh, yes. Brett, yes. Um, oh, I got it. I got it. Here we go. You, the three of us have B and R in our names. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I don't know why I thought <laughs> I was going to. Okay. No. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, Brian, show the thing. Show the thing. What thing? Your dick. The, yeah. <laughs> the <sticker. laughs> My dick that has the, flowers the and sticker. bees all around. Show the sticker. Was oh, there... shit. Oh, I have it. I have it. I'm suddenly acting like I'm high, and I'm not. <laughs> What's I'm the sticker? Saying. Unrelated. So uh, we have the great and talented EK here with us. My wife. Ooh. Uh, she made an Is amazing. It, uh, can, can, can people buy these somewhere? Not okay. yet, she says. Actually, oh my it, god, it's the moon, and it says... Uh, where, where, here, there we go. Says, oh shit, he's here! Oh my god, that looks incredible! <laughs> so to, to commemorate Brian's groovy afternoon where he was uh, startled and delighted that the moon showed up as if it were a human guest to his party, uh, there is a smiling moon uh, who looks just as excited that he's there as Brian was there to see him, uh, and it just says, oh shit, he's here. Uh, uh, so I love it. Uh, so stay much. tuned. Stay tuned to hit us up on Twitter. And we'll tell you when and where they're available. Follow us at Great Night Live on Twitter. Thank you. Oh, uh, man. Uh, I, look, oh, uh, but yes. Uh, uh, emails. We, emails. We've got emails. some emails. Oh, okay, Let's. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, you know we haven't done this in a while. Join us for drinks in the Diamond Club. Hey! Hey! That sounds grand. Super, Super grand. grand. This is the part of the show. You got me. Super grand. This is the part of the show where we're gonna read some of your high thoughts. Oh. 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 I don't have my high thoughts. I like whatever this noise is. This is nice. Oh, uh, oh, we okay. We got a little uh, reverb. Yeah, getting some groove on. Yes. Hey, Mister. Yeah. I want to buy some weed from you. <laughs> I have some important. No, thoughts. you Hi listen, Hi Mister. Uh, so we got some. High All right, wait. Do I have reverb? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Let me tell you something, buddy. Yeah. High thoughts, baby. Oh. All right, we got a high thought for you. You ever wake up and just decide you want to learn about clouds? Yeah. Not just a little bit, but memorize all the names and shapes and formations. I mean, oh, there's only five, right? I don't know. I'm not that high yet. Did you? Are you high and did you memorize them all? Cirrus. Okay. Cumulus. Okay. Nimbus. Okay. Stratus. Okay. And then the, there was that new one, the the one that's the rolling wavy one. Yo, this dude's bait. <laughs> God damn it. Did you say cumulonimbus? Uh, uh, well, uh, cumulonimbus is a combination. A, oh, now there's more than five, I see. Yeah. Wait, I mean, wait, 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 oh, sorry, I thought there was saying, five. It's like saying five. there's. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm oh, I see. You. If you combine Back red there. and, or sorry, blue and yellow, you get some new color that probably tastes like shit. Yes. Yeah, we would call that another. Okay. Here's another I, I bet you my wife knows all the names of the clouds. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a high thought. Hi. Can one of you guys tell me I'm cool? You no. are cool. You're so cool. You're all right. All right. That's a great high thought. That is a great. It's a good little high thought, isn't it? Yeah. That's uh, good. You're validated <laughs> from us. More importantly, I can assure you they don't know. Hey, here's a hug. Here's a high thought. I'm gonna hug you with my voice. That's what I was doing. <laughs> Wait, are you a snake in this scenario? Yes. I'm a snake. Okay, you don't want to get a bear noise. Are you eating Skittles, friend? <laughs> yeah. We're I'm Skittles. definitely not <laughs> eating Skittles. Let me go get my salad. Give me some Skittles, please, if we're doing high. Yeah. Okay. Like, <laughs> we're gonna do good. Okay, here it goes. We're gonna get Bryce some Skittles. All right, high thoughts. There was a. <laughs> You can hear it. Oh, they Brett wants them to. Yeah, thank you. There was that song, Detachable Penis. That was popular for a while. Yeah. But all penises are detachable. 
<laughs> if you try hard enough. You try hard enough. Try hard enough. I don't like that one. <laughs> don't like that one. Okay. <laughs> I don't like we will room. delete that one. We will. Not delete. all high thoughts are good. <laughs> We're gonna reply to you telling you that one was bad. Um, you suck. <laughs> all right, last one. You here. deserve to be paranoid. Oh, take me back to the moon. Hey, Mister, knock it off. Hiya. <laughs> <laughs> Last one. This was subject line LBJ. Message. Is that why we call a Johnson a Johnson? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I made that joke on the air and credited it the fact that I ripped it off from Saturday Night Live. Mm -hmm. I don't know the etymology. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Sna oh, wait. Oh, my God. You say you're a snake, yes. but are you actually Lyndon B. Johnson's dick? I am I detached <laughs> from my host <laughs> and oh, I have no. roamed the countryside of the Texas hills. Hey man, you wanna go see the Phantom Menace? I hate <laughs> Oh no Sam <laughs> Sorry, don't mean to interrupt. Did <laughs> Bryce spit up Skittles? No, I was. Did, what, Brian gave me some, what? and I held them in my hand for so long that I've got a bunch of green <laughs> shit on my hand. That <laughs> looks like snake oil to I me. I look like the snake character. It looks like you jerked off a ninja turtle. It does look like a dick. I know. Cow, hey, cow what was that big line that Jabba the Hutt said in The Phantom Menace? <laughs> Oh, we draw Chewbacca. Oh, oh, Whoa, oh, racist. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> I think you said, hey, <laughs> was, God damn it. <laughs> I need it to bypass. <laughs> All right. So it's a big moment at the pod race. <laughs> he's opening up the pod race. Greg Proops is the announcer, and he's like, hey, everybody, we're doing a thing. Ba -ba -ba -ba. And meanwhile, Jabba. Extends his big stubby arms into the gigantic crowd that doesn't look like a shitty CG and and just says in a triumphant mood, Hey, mister, let's start a pot race! Yeah! Oh, what did oh. we learn tonight, Brett? Great night, Pottery Mouth. That, um... <laughs> no more food! No, no more food! food. <laughs> this has really Gittles. ruined the show. This, this is show so would have been good if we all weren't eating Skittles. Not Skittles are delicious. <laughs> Nobody uh, send us more food. <laughs> we, we've learned that uh, that uh, Justin is the master of accents. <laughs> we've learned that <laughs> that uh, Brian really loves his Skittles. Yep. And uh, we learned that Bryce can sometimes just steal the shows that I want to use. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Thanks, Bryce. All's fair in love and war. All right. Pod racing. Yeah. <laughs> That's a neat trick. Uh, guys, I, I uh, uh, love all of you. What another week in the books. Um, I'll be drunk next week. That'll be fun. And uh, until next time, friends, it's been a great night. Shine on, you crazy diamonds. I'm eating Skittles. <laughs> hey, buddy. Um, hey, Mr. Buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me me alive. You helped me survive. No, there's never been a greater night, a single bed, a later night, a pause, the masturbation night, a let's get drunk and laugh tonight. There's never been a greater, great night. Mr. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>